So we're ready to start subculturing. First thing I do, because we're going to be touching our flask, is I put a little ethanol on my gloves, wet them down, go to the incubator, and grab my flask of cells. Today we're subculturing HeLa cells. I take a quick look at them on the microscope to determine cell health and confluency so I can make notes in my notebook. These look good. They're about 90% confluent, so they're ready to passage today. And then I go and bring the flask to the hood. I personally do not ethanol down the flask. Some people will. I find it just, it, it makes the flask too slippery. So we're ready to begin subculturing. I stand the flask up, loosen the cap, and then we want to aspirate off the media that's on. So I have my aspirator. I pick up the cap and I hold it in my two fingers. And then I go down to the bottom corner and just suck off that media and dispose of this pasture pipette. I wash the cells with 10 mils of calcium-free, magnesium-free PBS. So I've got my pipette here. Suck up 10 mils of the wash. And now when I put any uh, media or uh, buffered saline on the cells, I, always, I do not squirt it on the surface of the cells. I go down the side here, expel that 10 mils, dispose of that tip, and then notice I didn't even tighten the cap. Now I just rotate the flask to wash those cells. PBS is calcium and magnesium free, and that's going to help loosen your cells from the surface of the flask. Now I aspirate off this wash. And now we're going to add trypsin. And trypsin is going to release the cells from the surface of the flask. Notice every time I put a pipette on the pipetter, I face the scale in the direction that I'm going to use. So you're not fumbling with it later. I use one and a half mils of trypsin per T75. Once again, down the side, close it dispose of the pipette. Now I close the cap and I tilt for that trypsin to coat the surface. Now I put the flask in the incubator at 37 degrees for three minutes to have the action of the trypsin release the cells from the plastic. three minutes, I take the opportunity to clean up my hood space. So I throw away any wrappers that I have that I've used. I tighten my trypsin, my wash, and since I'm not going to use them again, I'm going to put them away. I use a hemocytometer to count my cells, so I get that area ready. So I have my hemocytometer here. It's already been cleaned with ethanol, and I prep the cover slide on the top. I check my counter to make sure it's set at zero. And I use uh, Tripan Blue in order to uh, assess cell viability. And I already have 300 microliters set out in these tubes. I do a one to four dilution uh, consistently, so I will put 100 microliters of cell suspension in this 300 microliters of Tripan Blue in order to do the hemocytometer counts. Now I just wait for that three minutes to be done 